words here that <clears throat> almost say the same thing from five different people. So I wanted to share those. Um, this one is called The Salt by Byron Thrill, March 10th. He gives Mark 9, 49 to 50. For everyone shall be salted with fire and every, sac every sacrifice shall be salted with salt. Salt is good, but if the salt has lost its saltiness, wherewith will ye season it? Have salt in yourselves and have peace with one another. My son, tell my remnant that salt is good. I use it to refine my chosen ones in these fi final moments of this age. Many times people will cut you with words, words of doubt, words of worthlessness, wor words of hate. But these words I use to strengthen you. Do you not think I have been slain with words as I walked among you? They hated me and they will hate you too. Who you ask? The same ones that hated me, the Pharisees and Sanhedrin. My son, this nation has been under the control of Pharisees for many, many years. They hold places of power and have the ability to change times and laws. Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, just as they wanted and plotted to kill me. They will do the same with my remnant. I say this to you, my remnant. They will assist the evil one to control the world. I have said to store up food and water for the days ahead. For when the laws change, you will not be able to buy the provisions. My remnant, you will have, you will trust you will have to trust in me fully to provide for you and your family. If you have a storehouse, share with the lost and share the gospel. Many will be turned in to be killed as the people who hate you will think they are doing me a service. My son, I have given all those who follow me the freedom to worship me in spirit and truth. Turn not back to the law as a dog returns to its vomit. Stay focused on me and pray every day for the battle is about to get worse. Do not trust any man, but ask me who is righteous, for there will be many wolves in sheep's clothing hiding among the flock. My remnant, you must prepare, for the fight will be fierce, and your armor must be worn at all times. I love you, my people. Many things are about to change, and you must be ready. For years now, I have said this to be, I have said to be ready. Now it's time. Become salty, salt, and I will continue to refine you. I am coming soon. Amen. Messiah Jesus. So this is what the Lord's been putting on my heart to share over and over. And um, I just made a video about and and shared just, I think that was the one from yesterday that about how they, if they hated Jesus, they're going to hate us. Okay. And um, that we need to be prepared just like, you know, Joseph during the seven good years for the seven bad years that were coming and Noah was told to prepare and he got ready for 120 years building the ark and then storing it with food and water for for his family and the animals um, before the destruction came so we need to be ready for what is coming um, and not to have fear but to trust in the Lord here is a uh, by Glinda Lomax, increasing from Tuesday, March 19th. My children, you can see evil increasing through the events around you. I have told you this was coming and that it will continue to increase. Indeed, it will increase exponentially until you think it cannot increase anymore. I am continuing to call home the merciful, for I told you in my word I would show mercy to those who show mercy. It is not my desire that they shall, that they see evil that is soon coming. I am calling home many of my older servants as they have labored many years for me and their work is done now. You will miss some of these as time continues, but what I am doing is best for them. And according to my word, continue to walk more and more in my ways each day and cling to my holy word for it is life. Then you will also be called home to your reward and all the sorrows will be over. Um, and that's what I had been thinking when I've seen, um, you know, some disabled and elderly people um, pass, especially those that know the Lord, that he's preserving, he's keeping them from, you know, the hardships that are coming that they wouldn't be able to bear um, because of their physical um, hardships. And um, they would have to be dependent on, you know, what the government could do for them rather than, be mobile and be able to flee. 
Okay, this is um, March 20th. Now the end is a new beginning. The path has been cleared, Brother Dan, by God's Healer 7. Truth beholds its master, it is. Many seek the truth, but few listen, since it does not tickle their ears. Those that listen hear, and those that speak listen. Destiny awakens from its slumber, for it is time for it, it is its time in the sun. The days have been counted for you to do my good works. Now the end is a new beginning. The path has been cleared and narrows as the journey nears an end. Follow me for the fruits of thy labor are visible to see. Speak now, son of man, speak to the weary, speak to my children. Arise, my chosen few, I have called thee from the beginning. Lift up thy hands and feel the breath of my spirit. I shall wipe away your tears. All sorrows shall be forgotten, for you shall taste eternal life. <clears throat> and I'm going to, if I remember, I'll put two videos that came to my mind while I was reading this in the text box for you that the Lord gave me in the last year, few years. Um, one was, um, you have been called and chosen. The, and then also um, one about, um, as he says, arise my chosen few. And then also um, about wiping away your tears and all sorrow shall be forgotten. Um, how he gave me a dream and interpretation of it about um, our whatever we have to endure here, um, this physical realm. It's all going to be in the past someday, and we're going to have unexplicable joy and peace once we're with him. And so I wanted to share that video as well. Um, I'll put them in the link in the text box. This is another one by Glenda Lomax, Chaos, March 21st. My children, I have told you that you live in the age of chaos, and this is true. This chaos that you see will increase again and again as time continues. It will increase more and more until my people feel no peace. This chaos will test every fiber of your being. <clears throat> I've designed the end of all things to test man to his limits, his real limits, not his imagined limits. For those who must walk through what is coming are called to do so because they will not submit to my refining now. If you submit to my refining now, you will not be tested to the end. I have not created man for chaos, but for peace. Other words about the coming chaos. She's got a link here to a blog. And then, My Time Is Not Your Time, Stephen Hansen, um, March 21st. Second Peter 3 8. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Ecclesiastes 3 11. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. The words that many of the prophets have been speaking will in a moment of time come to fruition. For many of these things have been said, would seemingly represent a time in the future that has not yet come. But I tell you that that time frame is soon to transpire. For I tell you that truly, um, that if the, those words had come forth from my throne, then they will come to pass. But man tries to hurry these things. He sees the things playing out in the world around him and says that they are now about to happen. But my time is not your time. It is all according to my purposes. My prophetic time clock has an hourly time frame different from yours. For I am beyond the time constraints of your human affairs. But when my book opens up, you can be assured that its pages will begin turning. Final warning, says the Lord. Um, TST5. From March 22nd. Final warnings, say, says the Lord, Jesus the Messiah, Yeshua the Mash Mashiach, is God come in the flesh. As I sit here on the floor and type out these words that I feel that I can barely muster, naked before the Lord, I hear in the spirit a phrase that grieves and excites and makes me terrified and rejoice all in one fell swoop. This is the final warning. I will hand my son and servant before I allow the understanding to take place by definition and fruition of circumstance. By now, those whom I plan to yoke in my righteousness by Yeshua are perfectly aged and ripe fruit on the vine, begging to be removed into the turbulence and tribulation found in the process of going into a tub for me to stomp and crush down into a fine and tasty wine to my glory. The altering of my mind, body, and spirit at the point 
where the soul meets the spirit, the great and terrible day of the Lord unfolds, not as a punishment, but in the mercy and grace that so many of my devout and otherwise have begged and pleaded for by supplication to receive. For truly my justice is great. Then will my people be, sat be satisfied, not by punishment, but by my mercy and grace, by the rending of the shackles which bind so many of my beloved nation among the nations to a system which glorifies the beast, which was cast fiercely from the heavens, so many unsaved, but doubly so, counted of my truly devout, spent the, spent the entirety of their days engaged in acts of worship, which glorifies the fallen and fractured world, pitted for complete destruction, as though that is, that is what breathed, breathed life into their nostrils at conception. Who do you owe to live but me by glorification through your testimonies by him who created you? My anger has been struck and I'm done, says the Lord. I pray so deeply and sincerely, Heavenly Father, and I beg you before the throne of grace and within the sight of all heavens, as they bear witness to my pleading with you to remove without mercy me from the driver's seat in this flesh that I towed around, that you may kill and remove all that makes me aside from that which is your son in Yeshua, named by your grace. It's hard to read when there's not proper punctuation and grammar. <laughs> so I'm sorry, but okay. I beg you, Papa, to kill within me that which is contrary to you, that which you hate, that when I stand before your throne of grace, not a shred of me may stand, but only your son, my Messiah, who shines by the countenance of my face as I submit fully to your authority by his name alone. Heavenly Father, I beg you from what I perceive as an upright spirit that you, that as you promise your mercy and grace by your justice, that you would allow it to be in the utmost swiftness and accuracy as your living and breathing word defines the discernment which separates bone from marrow, soul from spirit, and shaft from wheat, so that your glory may be shown by the countenance and stature of all in my household, your city and your nation, by your never-ending name, Yeshua, as I pray humbled in your sight, in the very same name and breath, I pray and plead, amen.